interrupt this recording to bring you the Glitches Get Stitches podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, if you tell this guy you'll wine and dine him, pay for all the booze and the movie tickets to the new Batman so he'll go, he'll whine like a little bitch boy from Bangkok and say, no. Oh, but if you play five drunken games of Overwatch with him, his panties slide off faster than mine at Arby's, and now we're going, it's Jeff! Between grinding on Valorant, plundering treasure in Sea of Thieves, and dying endlessly in Elden Ring, he still somehow manages to find the time to take care of Kelly when she's sick. But that's just how our cute little love boy works. It's Dakota. Aww. Chips Ahoy, it's a boy, Aloy, Larry Nimoy, Crispy Queen, Dairy Queen, Elder Ring, the sun comes up at dawn. Hey, it's John. Whoa there, buddy boy. When would you do that one? Dude, I've been, I've been uh, keeping that one for a couple weeks now. Like we just adding Krispy to it. Cream. I really Elden, did you bring Elden Ring to Krispy yeah, Kreme, dude? I really wanted actually uh to have have uh, pictures of, like Chips Ahoy, Aloy, Elden oh. Ring, but I haven't had time to print anything up, so I'll save that. Watch for out, Eminem. We got a new we got a new rapologist here. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back universe what's up chat what's up mikey kelly sean how's everybody doing today welcome to the glitches get stitches podcast episode 90 uh, oh that was for jeff um yeah of the 2gs show uh at glitches get stitches podcast make sure you find us on instagram twitter discord hang out on our discord we're getting that popping now and our home facebook and our new apartment twitch that's right folks we're now affiliates on twitch um we stream on facebook majority and then we also have i mean uh, if we're not on facebook we're on twitch it's literally half and half so it's awesome we got shifts over here shifts over there what up ray welcome to the chat how's everybody doing tonight um find us on yeah so uh, make sure you if you haven't already swing by twitch it's glitches underscore get underscore stitches and go over there and and give us a follow and check us out yeah. if you haven't already on this page like share comment drop uh your panties wait hold on hold on a second i don't know that's right drop a comment not there you panties go. There you go. not panties um and say what's up we'd love to chat with you uh if you hear any hear any topics during the podcast Ooh. please chime in we love we love to chat with you about it if you missed a live podcast or want to catch up on any new episodes, you missed sub for free at Four Eyed Radio Network. Uh, also, we just have a we just got a new Discord over there that we're on, so we gotta we gotta I got two Discords I gotta be active in now, Jeff. I, I'm not even active in one. I know. We know. Fuck. We know. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, I gotta turn it up, baby. Let's go. Four Eyed Radio iTunes. Uh, Spotify and YouTube for extra credit. Go there and grab the sub for free. We're growing down under there. This is the festering YouTube. It's festering like my anus right now, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you let that thing fester until it murders you. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Discord did go down today, but we're actually on Discord right now. That's where we do our podcasts from. We were wondering if it was going to be fixed. Obviously, they did a new update or something because Jeff and Dakotas are a little bit different than mine. Joel, welcome to the chat. How you doing, buddy? Uh, let's talk about some GGS news. First, we should take a shot with everybody while we're here, right? Right, yeah. right. Let's do that. And we got to do that. Welcome well, to episode 90. We got a big special guest on today. His name is Mr. Ray Peterson. He's going to join us towards the end for the main segment. We're going to chat with him about his gaming brand and also our current, our main topic which is, do should video games uh, get a second chance? So that'll be towards the end, and we'll get him on for now. Let's pour a little something. Jeff, what are you drinking on? Vodka. What are you chasing it with? Vodka. Juice. Juice. Vodka. What a cheese? Did you say cheese? Just a great block <laughs> of cheese. 
<laughs> he bites. <laughs> bites and bite up. Nothing like my vodka and cheese, boys. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, cheers, Baja Blast. Freeze. Freeze. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Dakota, what you drinking on? Vodka. Oh, we we the, the, the we them vodka boys and we got no teens in any. <laughs> Cause yeah. we're vodka boys. <laughs> we're living on an island, GGS Island. <laughs> oh man, GGS Island, that would be. I told you, you need to beat Elden Ring, <laughs> and when that happens, we're gonna have an island. So. Robert, welcome to the stream, buddy. Cheers, everyone, just joining in. Cheers, cheers. Let's get this party started. The old vodka and cheese whiz shooter. Brought to you by Tito's. Brought to you by, oh. brought to you by Fritos Cheetos Lay. Taco <laughs> Ray, fries? drink an angry orchard. See the fries are coming back, John? The Taco Bell fries? That's good. That's one of the best things they put out in a minute, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, in a minute. No one got a chance to, ch to taste their wings. They were in their own. Yeah, because they're probably awful. And, uh, and there's like a wing shortage, so they were like, they wouldn't, be deli they spent they wouldn't deliver them. <laughs> What's up? They wouldn't deliver them. You had to go get them. Yeah, I know. That was a big, that was a big uh, stifle for everybody. All right, let's talk about some GGS news. Right now, we have the St. Jude's Charity. Uh, it's live for the month, the whole entire month of March, my birthday month. St. Jude's is a very special organization to me because I used to work at Chili's for a very long time. That's where I met Carrie, and then she was dumb enough to have sex with me, and now she has kids with me. What an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, you know, that's the server life, you know? You get scrubs. <laughs> right, Dakota? No, I don't want no exactly. scrubs, though. I don't. You ain't getting no love from me. <laughs> this is the top pick ride. at Chili's, okay? This is what you get. Top oh. pick at Chili's? I can make all the margaritas. Are you sure the dishwasher yeah, wasn't the top pick? Who wants to have sex? That's what I would say. I'm like, who can make all the margaritas here? This guy who wants to have sex. And Carrie was like, well, I guess I'll do it. Well, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> if he stops anyway, asking. <laughs> back to St. Jude's. Um, and we used to, at Chili's, they would uh, do a margarita contest. Uh, and, and while the whole month of March, they every, I don't know, like 10% went to St. Jude's for the whole month. And then whoever sold the most margaritas won the St. Jude's thing thing, and I was a bartender, so I did that thing a lot. Um, so it's a very special organization to me, and it's my birthday month, so I want to do a 50-50 split of stars for the entire month. Um, uh, we set the goal at 100,000 stars, because last goal, we, we've had two really big charities in the past, uh, this year, actually. Or I think, wait, it was November, and then we had one in January? I believe so. I think. Definitely, one was definitely last year at least. Oh, no, 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 the last one was Toys for Tots. Yes. That was Christmas, so, right? Yeah. So that was the last one. Okay, that was the last one. That's right. And then the one before that was for the K9 Warriors, and then some other veteran one. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, um, you guys smash that goal. Uh, every 500 stars you send, you get entered in the top prize. Drum roll, please. Can I get a drum roll? We're gonna announce the top prize. It's going to be an Oculus Two. An Oculus 2. A brand new Oculus 2. That is going to be the top prize for... Um, so every 500 stars you send gets you a raffle ticket into that drawing. Unlimited amount. You can donate as many. Every 500, you get a raffle ticket. Uh, if we hit the goal, of course. So we got to hit the goal. 100,000 stars for the month. We're currently at... Uh, what are we at? Anyone got the dashboard 25, up? 25,508. Do you? All right, so we're, uh, what is that, 40%? If you 40, look above 40? you, John, it's actually right above your head. You see it right there. Yeah, it's right there. There it is. You see it. It's got to have, yeah. See you one? 45.5%, <laughs> John. 45.5%. Yeah, so it'll be Oculus 2, so make sure you get your 500 stars in to get a raffle ticket. Uh, we had some huge donations coming in the last couple streams. Uh, off the top of my head, Mikey hitting it hard. Uh, 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 Josh, Ray, Colin. So, and also we have top three prizes. 
So not only do we have the main top prize, top donor prizes. The top three donors will also get a prize. Top donor gets a new game. Second place gets a GGS hoodie or item of choice. Third place gets a $25 Visa or a GameStop gift card. So we do it big here at GGS. Last charity, we gave away a Switch Lite. Actually, to um, Ray, the, our guest on, he won big. He won big last time. He, he donated big, and he won big. So that's, that was nice to see. How many tickets I give? Mikey, I will give... A, a, hold on. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. One I'm a new dumb real quick now. Bring I'm a new, new dumb, dumb real quick now. I got the whistle. Go bring, 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 bring. I'm going to press this button. It's going to go up here. And then, and then, and then, and then, yeah, we're going to, uh, I'm going to shout out some of the, uh, I'll shout out the top donors right now. Uh, yeah, this month of donors. All right, Mikey, we got, um, uh, 15,160 stars. We got Josh with, uh, 11,092, it looks like. And then Ray with 40 or with 4,470. So, Mikey, take uh, your 15000 and divide that by 500 That's how many raffle tickets you got. Oh, show me the fidget spinner real quick. Hold on. My daughter's got to show me the fidget spinner. Come show me. You're live. Everybody can see you. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Let me see. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. I'll be out there later. Bye, Hello, everybody. So <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, we uh, huge donations the other day. Keep it up, guys. You guys are amazing. We love you so much. Well, that's a lot of tickets. Yeah, that was Mike. That's what I'm saying. Take that number, and divide it by no, 500. He, he said, "How many tickles, John? Tickles." Oh, tickles? tickles! You know I can't read. You get the unlimited amount of tickles, especially if you all come the over tickles. Here. Um, we give out huge. Uh, everyone that donates always gets their prizes, and uh, it's gonna be good. Dakota, hey. how the hell are you, buddy? I'm good. Hey. Yeah. How was work today? really good actually yeah did you make a butt ton of uh, money One sean thousand. with a thousand Holy. stars that's two rep it's right there uh i did make lots of money i'm a money making machine were you bartending say. today yeah bartending red robin sucks he's got to make all the uh milkshakes yep it's the only bad thing about it yep milkshake coming through here's another oh. one all right, you got a star problem. I feel bad for you sending 99 stars, but a bitch getting one. Joel <laughs> <laughs> with 99 stars. Thank you so much. 401 more stars, Joel. You get a raffle ticket. Uh, Dakota, Valorant is going well. The yeah. numbers are popping off every time you hop on Valorant. And um, when we play with the crew, I'm man, it's so much fun. Yeah, you guys have a, you guys have a good group. We, you got Annabelle, Sean, uh, Mikey, and uh, Ariel. Yep. Usually, am I missing anybody? No, that's usually the the main squad right there. Yeah, it is. It is very very fun to watch you guys play <laughs> the banter, <laughs> so the gameplay. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. It's very very fun to watch. I'm not I'm not the biggest Valorant fan, you know, but I enjoy watching you guys play it very very much. <clears throat> Amen. Oh God, I'm good on that one. Jeff's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Duff's> like excellent. <laughs> yes. uh, how's Elden Ring going? Uh, it's good, dude. Actually, I'm gonna put it down for maybe a week, cause okay. I uh, I'm not one. We got more stars going. Holy shit! Uh, it, I don't normally get flustered on video games that quickly, and I'm definitely getting a little flustered because I kind of changed my whole uh, uh, character. Like yeah, I you change, change your build. Yeah, I change build, and like it's I'm a little bit squishier, <laughs> but I'm a little bit faster, and I'm and but I'm just getting one tapped again, like I'm like at the well, beginning of the game again. If you you're doing more magic style, right? No, actually, I still doing sword and everything, and and the same amount of magic, but I I changed. I am now doing medium armor instead of heavy armor, so my rolls are faster, but I'm a little uh, bit squishier. Okay. Okay. Uh, and also, um, I really want to go back to. I really want to go back to Horizon because uh, I. Is that, I was gonna say, is that what you're gonna go back to in the meantime? Yeah, yeah I've, I've been going back to Horizon. You're just. I, I so I was dumb stars, enough. Mikey, holy shit, man! Thank you so much. Two thousand stars, Sean, with the party. Is there a star party going on right now? Is if there it? was, why did you just smash it? I think it's like he uh, just did it. He just did it. Smash the star yeah. party. Thanks, you guys, so much. You guys are uh, amazing for the Elden Lord. For the Elden Lord. Uh, Mikey actually showed me a phenomenal place to harvest these runes. I spent about 30 to 45 minutes 
and I got a million runes, oh, and shit. I posted that shit fast. I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check <laughs> that one out. Uh, it's it's more, it's it's a little. Bit, I don't think you can actually get there yet. You even, I mean, it's I have it's, like almost the whole map. You you haven't got this. I I don't think from what I've seen you've. Got I even this I even have uh, like the 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 whole. Do city. you have the underground Sofria? I do. The so whole. Fritas? Huh. The Fritas? The Fritas? The Chipotle? <laughs> the Papa's Fritas? Yeah. Mark with 500 stars, dude. That's a ticket, man. Thank you so much, dude. Jeez. Mark with 500, baby. Let's go. Star party. Uh, here's the thing about Elden Ring, man. Like, I mean, I love it. I, I, I love it, obviously. I'm going to touch on it just a little bit. And some penises. Yay. But uh, I, I'm just having a great time with it. Dude, I, think, I feel like maybe you're trying to fight a little too much, man. I think you, so. You I think so, too. To, you don't have to fight at all if you don't want really at, at any given point unless it's like a cutscene and you enter the door you know what i mean yeah yeah you don't have to fight so you can really just go on an item hunt on a rune farm on a, a, like a side quest kind of thing you don't have to fight i think you might be trying to fight a little too much maybe maybe um what le do you know what level you are off the top I of your head I'm like 50 or 52 52 okay yeah i mean it's it's like a weird level you think you're strong enough but you get your ass smashed in yeah. ag live adults gaming what's up zach Woo thanks so much for swinging by uh you know what i mean I, I i i'm a level 105 and i and i still get slapped in the face twice by like a low level guy holding the torch and I de right. i'm dead sometimes you know what i mean i'm like fuck you guy with the torch uh anyway yeah so you're going to horizon next or are you, are you like, I'm, taking I'm a break still, from Elden Ring? No, Game I'm still going to play Elden Ring, but, like, I'm going to put it down for a little bit because I really want to play more Horizon because it's, it's a great game, and it's, like, it's getting overshadowed everywhere in the fucking world by, by uh, yeah. Elden Ring, and I want to give it the time that it deserves. Talking about time that it deserves, Mr. Jeff here ooh, ooh. streamed the shit out of it. Had a huge stream the other day. Went live at what? Uh, you... you <laughs> You went live the Friday night, and it was like a kind of a short stream, and it, you kind of looked like a little off. So I went back and watched it, and in the end, I just hear Jeff going like this, losing power, <laughs> don't know <laughs> if I can stay awake. So what what happened with that? I don't know. It just hit me. I was tired, like, midstream. I was like, fuck, at least if I pass out now, I know I'll be up early enough. I'll probably do something in the morning. So I did at, like, I think it was like nine. I think I got up at like eight thirty. Yeah, you did. Went live at nine or something. Yeah, you text me at nine. If Jeff texts me at nine a.m., something bad. I feel like something bad. It's a bad text. <laughs> yeah, nothing good happens like, at Good morning. I'm like, who is this? Let Jeff go. <laughs> He's just a simple man. <laughs> he said good morning in the same <laughs> sentence. Um. So anyway, Jeff hopped on at 9 a.m. And I'm talking about instantly 32 viewers just popping off. He's like, just waking up like, Jeff, let's fucking go, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you streamed for like six hours, five hours. It yeah. was a good one. That's what I was going to uh, play anyway, so I figured. Stream yeah, it. I thought you beat it then. But no, you actually hopped on that night or the next night at like 3 a.m. or something like that, right? And you beat it then? Yeah, that's what I beat it, yep. But your numbers are huge for this game. I mean, they were huge every single stream. There wasn't... So people are liking Horizon. Yeah, yeah, apparently. <laughs> Maybe they like you. No, it's Horizon. Oh, okay. They hate uh, you. When I, like, when I, I hate this guy playing. I think it's like a 70-30. I love this game. Like, but like I love this Jeff game. and then Horizon. 70-30. <laughs> yeah. Happy Bad Bitches Day to all the awesome ladies out there in GGS land. Is it Bad Bitch Day? Yeah. Uh, 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 Girls uh, night. You'll see if we keep the numbers for my stream tomorrow. That'll, then you'll know if it's me or the game. What's on the docket for tomorrow? Uh, Shadow Warrior 3. Nice. And you have streamed the second one or first and second one before? I think I've done both. I've gone okay. back and done both. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. Uh, this game. is... How, what is this? This is like the funny game, right? Like he, the main character is like really funny. Yeah, yeah. His name is is Lo Wang, and he like cracks Wang jokes all the time. 
Uh, I'm excited to watch you play this. It's definitely right up your alley. And then what's but uh, how? What is this game going to be? Twenty hours? I don't know. It's that I feel. Sounds about right. Twenty. Yeah. Thirty. Mm. Do you know what's next for you? Um, I'm gonna probably actually that uh, the Valhalla that new DLC John of Ragnarok. Oh, yeah. I'll probably yeah. do that because I forgot that drops like in two days. Yeah, we got another big month on our hand. The yeah. Hall of DLC. It's it's like actually like a new little fucking game. It's so so much content. What it looks like. Um, and Tiny we got Tina. Tiny Tinas. Tiny Tinas. Yeah. We got Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy. We got um, Babylon's Fall. I think it was called. It just came out. It's another Square Enix game. Square Enix. I, I don't even know what it is. Cassidy, what's up? Can I Venmo John for the charity? Absolutely. Absolutely. And what I'll do is um. I'll take that cash, I'll put it towards stars, and then so that way you can be entered in, or 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 I'll, I'll like you know what I mean. I'll count it as stars, so that way you can still be entered in the top prize and everything. But absolutely, Cassidy, thank you so much. You're awesome. How you how you been doing? Um, because I still want you to be entered in the uh, raffle. So don't worry about it. If you say if you Venmo or if you send a, a private donation or anything like that. Uh, you will still be counted in in the uh, in the giveaway. It's not just stars. It's it's it, five. It's five dollars. Every every five dollars you send during this month, you get uh, entered. So yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, Valhalla, and then is Dakota or are you doing Tiny Tina's? Is that who is Dakota. you, Dakota? Yep. Okay. Are you doing that on Facebook? Are you doing that on Twitch? Uh, I might because be. I was gonna. The, well, the reason I asked is because I was talking to Jeff, and I know he's also interested in it. So we could oh. do one oh. on Facebook, one on Twitch, if oh, you wanted. We to. can also play together and stream at the same time on both platforms. Yeah, because yeah, because Kelly's gonna. We're gonna. Uh, 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 Kelly, myself, and Jeff can all play together if we can find a time to to get together and play. Yeah. It. Okay. Um. So we'll put you down as streaming it. Uh, and then we'll talk about the options. Me and Jeff didn't, we weren't really sure. That's why I wanted to uh, hit on it right now with you. All right, that's cool. Uh, you guys, back off, though. Back the fuck up. I have the new Final Fantasy, Stranger to Paradise, okay? I still don't even know what game that is. Chaos. Remember? It's oh, the chaos. chaos. God damn it. Really? That was... Chaos Reigns. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, what's our, hold on. Let me get our Venmo Cassidy just text me y'all talk amongst yourselves real quick let me get some info real quick uh jeff so i didn't know you're actually getting it so that's exciting. yeah i think i want to because it's i i missed out on borderlands 3 i still didn't get it so i figured i'm like ah, i don't want to miss another one and yeah. tiny tina's is going to be dope because of like the straight D D and the weird classes they have it's like, D D and metal and borderlands i'm fucking, yeah it's gonna be fun man i'm excited yeah, I don't even think it's a. Is it a full price game? I or was so. it like it? Is it full like full sixty? Yeah, it's not like the one shot that uh, they came out with for PlayStation, uh, which yeah. I should talk to Mark about today. Uh, it's a it's a full it's a full game as far as I've seen. So like full Borderlands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But set in a in a tabletop RPG world that yeah. is run by uh, Tiny Tina. She is the DM. There's- there's gonna be way more jokes in it that you that you get that I don't. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm so excited. Dude. <laughs> you're in, you're in, uh, you you've, you've DM'd and <laughs> watch it all the time. Yeah, I'll it's gonna like, be. Huh? I mean, you know, you'll understand. You'll understand some of the jokes. Oh, yeah. I mean, with the the roles, I'm sure it's gonna be a all lot right. of funny role stuff. Yeah. So uh, Kelly likes that too. Kelly said it's gonna yep. be so good. Did y'all mention the Netflix Marvel stuff going to be on Disney? No, but uh, we can mention it right now. Yeah, all those great shows. Uh, Daredevil, uh, Black Punchy Guy Man, Chick Peach. that's also strong. <laughs> Jessica Jones. Um, and then Iron the Fist. other white guy, Punchy Guy. Iron Fist. Fist. Yeah, those all, the, the, the great shows from Netflix will be going over to Disney Plus. The guys go over there and check them out because they've already been out for six years. So if you, if you haven't watched them yet, you're going to see them on Disney Plus. Oh, no, I think they drop the 16th. They're finally available now i want to go watch them again i was actually re-watching them before they dropped it i need to watch the daredevil one because you were giving me shit paid on venmo anything for the kids let me say let me make sure 
so many punch so guys. many so many punch guys so many punchy dudes there's That's... a lot of punchy guys and, and there's the shooty dude punisher man yeah he shoots oh i i dude john the birthall man that guy's my hero I don't know if you guys watch um, Hot Ones. I, if, you, if you don't watch Hot Ones, you gotta watch yeah. it. And him on dude. Hot Ones, dude, he's such a down to earth dude. I'm so stoked on that. Yeah, Ashley it's Birch our... is Tiny Tina and Aloy. Is, yeah, she's an awesome, awesome voice actor. Our, our Venmo is connected to the glitches. Oh, there it is. Oh, Cassidy with a hundred dollar donation. Ooh. That is huge. That's a lot of that's a lot of raffle tickets. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Ten thousand stars, right? Yeah, that's ten thousand. That's a dragon drop right there. She just dropped a dragon on our ass. Thank you so much. You are amazing. But to answer your question, John, the Venmo is connected to the elbow. The elbow is connected to the knee bone. Knee stuff. <laughs> yeah, the thing's doing the other stuff. Um. All right, cool, 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 cool. What are we doing? <laughs> Kelly, <now>? Kelly gets. <laughs> she just, <laughs> she liked that. Um, Jeff, now that you are bound by the gods of fate to see Batman with me, how are you doing? Uh, fine. <laughs> just um, all right, let's talk about me now. Of course, I'm doing awesome. Me. Thanks for asking, oh. everybody. All right. I heard it from the rooftops. John, John, how are you doing? And I, I will answer. Um, I'm doing awesome. It's my mother fucking birthday month. Ooh, ooh. So that means it's going to be a shit show from uh, the 1st through the 31st. Let's go, uh, Nintendo. Uh, it's me, Mario. Uh, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, birthday month. Um... Oh, make sure this Sunday, join me, Jeff. Bill's coming, I believe. Uh, maybe after he after he gets off work. Oh, maybe. Wait, it's Sunday. For I'm, my birthday. I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up so. It's, yeah, it's, um, it's, and it's also Sunday? possibly Jordan. I don't work Sunday, maybe so I'm still waiting for my plane ticket. Yeah, go ahead. Order it's that. gonna be last minute. It's gonna be last minute. Really last minute. <laughs> um, Sunday we're going to Chili's. We're gonna do a live stream from Chili's. I have a few margaritas, then we're going to head back to the GGS studio back here. I'm going to have the other PlayStation set up right here with the TV so we could do some uh, dual gaming, maybe Overwatch or Mortal Kombat or something. And then uh, also I'll have the Nintendo 64 with four controllers with some gold and I set up. So we'll have some fun, have some drinks, have some laughs, have some fucks. Hey Jeff, it's my birthday. I know. Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. Just like Carrie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yesterday Overwatch games went well. I didn't know there was a new season already out. Uh, I had fun, by the way, playing with you and Bill last night. That was good stuff. Um, I don't think you were going to show up. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I didn't. I When Bill talks, usually there's no substance behind it, you know? And yeah. it, it, whatever he says is gone in the next five minutes. When he texted me three times, I was like, "All right, he he wants he wants to play." <laughs> Mikey with two thousand stars, by the way. God, hangover. Two thousand uh. stars. Mikey is definitely the top donor tonight. Oh, or the one this month. You know, yeah, this month. One yeah. Bill. I don't know. Bill takes he takes his uh his late night Overwatch with me seriously. <laughs> uh, yeah, he I, says I, it. Yeah, so we that was a blast. That was off stream. Then on stream. I uh, did my placements, placed one game away from Platinum and DPS, and then about 23.30 for Tank. So I got a little work. I did hit Platinum last last uh, season for uh, for Tank, but we'll see if that happens this time. Good games. Little Giant swung by. We haven't played with her in a hot minute. We got some dubs with her and Jordan, of course. And then um, on the other side of things, Elden Ring has taken over my body and soul, and now I'm a shell of a fat man. Like a soft shell, buttered, tarnished crab of a man shell, Jeff. What is the and difference Dakota. from anything else normal? Yeah. It's... Weren't you already less... that before Elden Ring? It's yeah. usually less butter. Oh, okay. No, yeah. <laughs> now I'm all sloppy for ya. <laughs> Lady, you're scaring us. <laughs> Mike, yeah, I love you so much. Um. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, guess what, everybody? It's trans with b -b -b benefits. Spirits, spirits, spirits. That's right, everybody. That's where GGS keeps you out there up to date with everything going on 
Currently in the gaming and uh, movies and, and, and shows and stuff, we talk about the new stuff, okay? We talk about the new stuff. Let's get into it. So, we're all awaiting the new season of The Boys on Amazon Prime. We all watched that, correct? Jeff, you, you're up to date on that? Yeah. Um, they just put out a animated series called Diabolical. It's from the minds of the creators of The Boys and is on Amazon Prime. Um, I would compare it to the Animatrix. It's, it's, uh, you know, but it's for the, in the boys, uh, like, universe. Um, like, the first episode is, like, Looney Tunes meets Happy Tree Friends. Um, so, like, just, like, some funny violence. Like, a baby sneezes and the lasers sh pop motherfuckers' heads off and shit. So, I mean, it's good, it, it, you know. And uh, the second one kind of reminds me of, like, Rick and Morty. So, it's, it's like that. It's a whole bunch of different um, artists and stuff. They just did the, the one for Star Wars recently. Rebecca, what's up? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, definitely worth a watch if you're just uh, chilling and want to see some funny different animes around the boys' universe and lore. Have you seen this, anybody? No, it, I think it, it just yeah. dropped. I, I was like, I, it, I was looking for some gaming news, and other than the new games that are dropping, there's not like much. Other than that kind of news going on. Uh, so I saw this just dropped. I watched a couple of episodes and I was like, oh, I'm a top bad man. It's good. Check it out. It'll be fun. Uh, Square Enix. You have, Ray? You, you, what do you think about it? You like it? It's good, right? It's, it's fun. I love the boys. I can't wait for season two. I think, I, is that season soon? Three? Or? Yeah, season three. Season three. Season, uh, season three. Yeah, season three. Is that... That should be soon, I feel like. I think so. Oh. Hopefully. Anyway. Square Enix's game that I was really looking forward to in May called Forspoken. It's about the chick that does stuff and the other stuff with stuff things. Oh, it's you not know? the chaos one. That's the other one. This is the other. This yeah. is this is the one that I think people are waiting for. Yeah, this one looks actually really cool. <laughs> uh, Strangers of paradise is going oh, to yeah. be a very small group of people playing chaos <laughs> we are rebecca i hope you're doing awesome as well i missed you on sunday you got to come back on sunday and uh get some overwatch games in i need those heels those sweet mercy heels uh so we but uh this forespoken game got delayed five months which October, right something like that yeah which I'll be honest with you, I, I'm okay with because from now, from the games that I have on backlog to the games that are coming out in March and April, I'm okay. I need a little, I need a little breathing room. Give me a, give, you know, give me a month to catch up on everything. Maybe May. I don't know if anything. Yeah, there's gonna be something big every month, but I'm okay with it. I'm because okay, I, I think that was gonna be a, a big one. We get Kirby this month too, though, don't we? We do get Kirby. I'm kind of. We do. Are you gonna that, get? Are you? I'm, you and I, Kelly getting that? I think I'm gonna get it because it looks fun. It looks fun, but are you gonna play it more than ten seconds? No, I'm actually gonna only play it nine. Yeah. So. Eight. You're like, well, so that's it, to, folks. See you later. I'm just gonna install it and boot it up and then turn it off. I'm the <laughs> one who does our spotlights. Fuck you. <laughs> I I know you do the most of the spotlights. I love it, man. I just uh. You know, doing the spotlights. I have uh, I have about ten years of the backlog. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have about ten years of spotlights. Yeah. The, sp the spotlights for Dakota is a very expensive <laughs> three-hour very ride. expensive series. Yeah, <laughs> it's very expensive. Uh, GG a spotlight for you. But anyway, we love it. We get to see the new games. I figured this was gonna be a game that Kelly would get. Uh, I think then... she might play it too. We just we we have so much going on. I, I'm really on the fence about it. I'm like, it looks so. It looks a little closed in for my Kirby excursion that I'm thinking. Like, I don't know. I'll have to watch you play it. I'll have to watch you play it. So, Alloy from Horizon uh, made the cover of Vanity Fair uh, for changing the way women's roles are perceived in video games. While Laura Croft and Samus are scissoring in a jacuzzi behind her. Just kidding on that second part. But are you kidding me? Wait, why why they pick Alloy for this? Like, there's been many, 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 many men. 
It's many, 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 <laughs> many, 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 many. It's uh, because we're in a different, we're in a different time and age now, where those two characters aren't as important as this character is now. If you're a gamer, if you're a new gamer, I don't give. If you don't know who Laura Croft is, I am gonna take Jeff's penis, never heard of him, add it to mine, and okay. slap you in the mouth. So we're looking okay. at a whole rock hard five inches. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just talking about you. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about John. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, I generous. said we're combined. Okay. Um, I, I, Laura Croft, dude. I mean, first of all, she had our generation jerking off to her pixelated boobies before yeah. we even knew what jizz was. I think okay. Yeah, part of the reason why she wasn't. <laughs> I think it's um, a, the really gender that. thing now is more important in, in life than it was before. So you're saying because we don't want to jerk off to Alloy, that's the change. Well, maybe you don't. I mean, don't speak for yourself. Oh, I already <laughs> have. <laughs> <laughs> who's Lara Croft? <laughs> who's, who's Laura Croft? With the Laura. Game. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren Croft? Never heard of her. <laughs> who's Lauren Croft? Crab mac and oh. cheese. Um, anyway, it was awesome to see Alloy uh, make the cover. But I, I just, I think that she should have shared it, maybe. Because, yeah, Tomb Raider, I mean, if listen, if you make anything in this world today, there will be someone that wants to fuck it, no matter what it is. It's rule number, was that rule 34 or whatever he's called? Rule 34. Yeah. Is that, it's, there it's, a, it's a real thing, it? yeah. There's a, por- there's a porn of it. It's called rule 34. What, 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 what does it's, it say? If, it, if it's anything, there's a porn of it. That's, if that's it, the rule. Oh, okay. if, it, if it exists, yeah. there is also a porn version mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. So, of course, we're all going to want to bang Lura. Lara. Lara Croft. Laren? Laren. Larry! But, uh, yeah, good good for Alloy. It, it was nice seeing her on there. She wasn't the first one in a magazine, though. Who was it? It was Blood Rain in Playboy. Yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> oh, my that's God. Cool. I know what I Circa, need Circa, like, birthday, 2004, yeah, 2005. That that's the first one I remember of a video game chick in a magazine oh blood rain was there anyone was there any other video game characters did it show boobies yeah it was playboy and like when blood rain came out back on ps2 or whatever it was god i love blood rain boobies we all do john we all do (laughs) we all do i can't believe i didn't i didn't know that that. yeah blood rain was fucking sick oh yeah I, i like the movie with that one chick I don't know, remember if I saw it because it didn't look that great. But I saw oh. it and I liked it. Oh, it was terrible, but it had boobies in it. You know, and I, when it, at that age that it came out, when I was nineteen. Va- vampires, <laughs> leather, hot chick boobs. You have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the actress's name, but I know her face and I know her boobs. That's all. <laughs> you don't right show her face. I just know her. <laughs> right, Carrie. She's all you. Shut up, pig. <laughs> Shut up, pig. <laughs> Carrie, do you still love me? You're live on air. She no. gets two thumbs nope. down. Yeah. Us. Uh. All right. Let's talk about this. Patrick Stewart, a.k.a. Professor X, finally gives details that he is, in fact, in the new Doctor Strange movie, Multiverse of Madness. Can we talk about this real quick? Because I'm not too oh, sure. Uh, so I heard that he is a part of a Illuminati. Yep. Illuminati is, and uh, those yeah. are they are the holders first of the mutants? stone. What is no, it? No, the Illuminati. Well, I mean, if, it depends on what way they're going. But the Illuminati comic, which actually I own, is they all are the new protectors of each stone. They all have their. They all have a stone that they're protecting. It, so, is this where we're going to see Tom Cruise as Iron Man? I, that, I that's, hope not. Yeah, I'll say that's a little. But little you different. know, that's a thing going around, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I hope it's not a thing. What if he's like, hey, guys, I'm Tom Cruise, and he comes slide in on his socks? And they're like... <laughs> in, the, in the outfit? In the, yeah. The... No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so... Delete. Do, do you, in, the, in, in the comic book, Dakota, who else is part of the Illuminati? Blade. Uh, uh, it's Blade. Iron it's Iron Man. It's Dr. It's, uh, Dr. Xavier. Fuck, I Black, have the comic. Black Bolt? Isn't Black Bolt? I don't think so, actually. Black Bolt? I thought he was oh, um, Black Bolt from the Inhumans, right? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I'm trying to think about. Don't it right. ruin Iron Man that way. 
Yeah, so I like don't I don't <laughs> want to see Tom Cruise's Iron Man ever. Or he's like, what if what if he has this entrance when he comes down and he's hanging on a thing and he goes like this? No, please no. And but, he catches his sweat and he's like, I'm Iron Man. They're like, why are you hanging there on a thing? And he's like, Ready? Right, yeah, you know. <laughs> I gotta do, I gotta do the mission. That's impossible. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 it is my fault. Yeah, yeah, I see it right here. So these guys are the keeper of their realms. and But to me, this is awesome because this is going to be where they can finally introduce the X-Men to the MCU. This is a big thing for me. Oh, do you think we'll see Wolverine in this movie? I don't know if they'll jump that. They'll go that quick. It would be dope, but that's just... Like I'm gonna, I think we're going to see Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Jickman. Hugh Jickman? Hugh Jickman. Megan. I, I think we'll see Hugh Jickman come yeah. back as... um. Wolverine, you know. I, I, hope he has an, I hope he has an accent this time. <laughs> you know, like, I'm the Wolverine uh, from down under. Hey, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, any uh, any anything else on the, on that that's important with the uh, Professor X or anything? Uh, probably a lot. Probably a lot. We'll we'll talk about it more once we get closer lot. to it. I'm pretty excited though because I. X Men needs to be in the MCU because there has been some amazing X Men movies, but that just I like I don't know. As well as Fantastic Four, in my opinion, I mean they all need to be there. Oh, Fantastic yeah. Four! Yeah, I think that last that Fantastic Four movie sucked. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So I still liked else. it, man. I, I, I it was no, bad, but I still no, liked no. it. They spend an an hour and forty five minutes talking about doing shit, and then they do shit for thirty minutes, and it's terrible. Uh, Ray Peterson, the Illuminati was a secret organization comprised of several of the world's most powerful heroes. Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, King of the Inhumans, Charles mm -hmm. Xavier, founder of the X-Men, and mutant rights activist Reed, Reed Richards. Richards. It, oh, it is uh, Reed Richards. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think they'll probably go. Because they've been kind of teasing and pushing a Fantastic Four for, like, oh, for there's a while. Namor of the Submariner, Namor. Uh, King of Atlantis, Iron Man, Tony Stark. Okay, dude, that's fucking sick. This could open up a f you know what? If I was a writer in the MCU, I would start writing more movies right now. What a novel idea. <laughs> Interesting. I think I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> they haven't stopped. Alright, dude, I'm so excited about it though. Professor X, dude, I love that actor so much. I hope we see Magneto. I hope he's like, bring my friend Magneto V to he's my friend. Oh uh, goes. Yeah. They're friends. They might have fought each other, but they're friends, Jeff. It's like me and you for GGS. The I battle. I think it's more like me and you, John. <laughs> yeah. It's more like me and you, John. Come on, let's get it right. Um. All right, we uh, who's a fan of Futurama? Whoop whoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so uh, me. Like I mean, uh, you, I don't know if everybody knows, but Simpsons is like one of my all-time favorites. Matt Groening, I love him. Then they had uh, the Futurama, and I love the show. But then they said they were going to revamp it or, like, bring it back, and they didn't have Bender, voice actor, in it. And I was like, oh, that is... I don't know how that would have worked, really, if you brought everyone back but him. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? And... Too different. Too different. Too different. And he and I like he's in another show that Matt Groening writes for Netflix called uh, Unchanted. Un, un, oh, en Enchanted. 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 Yeah. Oh, Enchantment. Uh, Enchant. Enchantment. Enchantment. Disenchantment. Disenchantment. Something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but it, and it's good. He he plays the king's voice on that. I I love him. Joe DiMaggio. Well, guess what? He's back, and he's gonna be in the new seasons. So all is well. I'm excited for this. Uh, you guys excited? Oh yeah. I think so, yeah. I mean, I just, it's so weird because, like, it ended on such, like, a, like, cool. We, it ended the way it should have ended, and now we're, I'm curious to see how it's going to be brought back. Well, you know, if anything made a dime before, they're going to bring it back before they make something new. Disenchanted. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, all right, next up, let's see. Um, the new Batman is killing it in theaters. And here to comment on it is Batman himself. 
No oh, way. Wow. He Is came it, back. We could have seen him again. What is he doing in the? What is he doing in the GGS studio? That is what is he doing in Arizona? Yeah. What is going on? Why does he visit Arizona so much? Is this so Arizona hot? He's so sweaty under that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh my God, Batman. What's up? What are you doing here again? Oh God, guys. It's good to be back in the GGS studio. What's up, everybody? Batman here again. John, John, and I had a crazy night last night. We dressed like prostitutes and stood out at a theater playing the new Batman. And everyone who bought a ticket got a suck and fuck. Uh, uh, let me tell you, John, John is a wild beast and can really take a cut. Uh, he makes Robin look straight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just here to say it loud and proud uh suck it everyone who doubted the new batman movie suck a fucking bat dick actually because guess what i fucking rule okay because guess what i fucking rule people were like oh it's twilight twinkle toes mcgee they would yell it at me at jeff on the streets okay i'd be walking with my family yeah, and they it. you it was you yeah god damn it <laughs> Still got the second fuck, though, if I recall correctly well, from your friend John. He's John John's a champ. That's why he's my sidekick. I'm going to get him dressed up as Robin pretty soon here. We're going to go out and fight some crime in a oh, different God, kind of way. No. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, you know, they're, they're yelling these Twilight things at me, but you can Twilight these vampire nuts, okay? I'm banging your mom. I'm banging your girlfriend. Commissioner Gordon's next child once it turns 18. Anyone. Who has anything negative to say about the new Batman movie? Fuck you. I'm banging your mom or someone you love. Is there any questions out there? Where's John right it's now? John he, okay? He's not here anymore. There's only vengeance. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> Jeff, yeah. before I go, I heard that you're going to see my new movie now. Um, what made you change it? your mind? Was it alcohol induced? It was. Yeah. Was it pressured on you by all your friends around you? No, it was mostly alcohol. Oh, okay. Well, either uh, way, I lost I... a bet. <laughs> either way, I win. No, John isn't in the bad cave. I'm in the GGS studio, Mikey. Okay. <laughs> Get it right. Anyway, that's all for me. I'll see you guys in the theaters, and then uh, after all the hoopla settles down, I'll come visit again, and we'll talk about, I don't know, you know, stuff and stuff. Anyway, Batman out. Uh, yeah, he he's so, comes out of nowhere. He's so fast. It's just like the, it. it's just what Batman does. Oh, see, John's oh, here. Oh, John's been there the whole time. I I went out to see if Carrie was okay, and I, what sure happened? right? Uh, sure right? Batman showed up. Yeah, Batman really showed weird. up. Yeah, like... A Batman stamp on the back of her lower back. What does that mean? A trap God, he... man stamp? Yeah. That's trap. That stamp? <laughs> that stamp. Uh... He, uh, right. he, he told on you. He told Dakota. He what you did yeah. to me. Wait, what What happened, Jeff? Batman told on you. you what did he say? You gave me the suck and fuck outside the theater. Well, I thought that was don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> well, 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 Batman, told everybody. Batman told everybody. Yeah, I do. I do, Kelly. Uh, let's get our guest in here. Dakota, send Mr. Ray Peterson the hey, invitation. Ray. Mr. Ray Peterson, if you're watching right now, you're going to be receiving an invitation from uh, Dakota. Hey, I'll send it to you so hard, my friend. <laughs> right, Jeff? Well, Jeff. Coral, you know, a little Coral Scarface coming in. <laughs> I'm so confused now. <clears throat> I sent we'll Larry. have a guest on here right now, Mr. Ray Peterson, then I'll introduce him, and then we'll get into the uh, main segment. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. If you haven't already, hit the like, hit the share, drop a comment. Send some stars for the children. The children. Oh, children. Oh, children. Oh, children. Ray Peterson, where are you at? I sent you an invite. He's in. Now we gotta we got to walk What's him up? through how to get his camera up, though. There he is. Changed. Yeah, we gotta get your camera. He's here. Gotta get the camera going. Oh, there, there he is. is. There he it. is. Hey, look at that. No instructions. What's up, dude? What's up, guys? Made it. John's having a coffin fit. He's about to die over here. Shit all over my floor in excitement <laughs> you, to see Ray. Did you shit all over the floor? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let me uh, let me do this intro real quick. Let's welcome a very good friend of the Genius Podcast. 
He's fairly new, but his impact has been felt from here to Zimbabwe. He came in huge uh, for our last charity. I think he donated 45,000 stars. He, he was not only the biggest donation, but he also was the biggest winner. Uh, won the top prize of Switchlight. Won, also won the top donor prize, which was a new game. Um, came in and killed it. He quickly showed everyone he was GGS to the bone and now is a mod, not only for our, Twitch, our new Twitch page, but our Facebook page as well. Uh, the Hobgoblin, Mr. Mad Bell, gaming himself, Ray Peterson in the house. What's up, guys? Hey, hey can't we can't, <laughs> can't hear the claps again, John, but <laughs> we can see them. <laughs> we Ray, how are you doing, sir? Good, how are you guys? I'm quackastic. Does everyone have a drink? I will in one second. Oh, oh. Dakota's got a pour. I got a pour. And chase it with a taco, or what you got? I, <laughs> that's what <laughs> Kelly told me to do. She's like, just, just blend your tacos. I know you're in a hurry. Just blend them. All right, cheers, everybody. Ray, welcome Ray. to the Glitches Good Sisters podcast. Thanks for being on, buddy. Always. Oh, yeah. All right, let's talk about you. Um, So what's up, buddy? What's up, man? How was your day? It was good. It was good. How was your day? Good. Did you, uh, did you have to work? No, thank God. Nice. So, do you still work at GameStop? Uh, yes, I'm actually in their tech department. Oh, You're in the tech I, department? Yeah, what so is I that? actually fix controllers that come in broken with stick drift. Oh, oh really? Mm -hmm. So, all of John's controllers have Wait, gone. so what? can I send you my, my, my Joy-Cons? <laughs> you can, actually. Oh, shit, we'll talk later. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Here's the I have like I'll five pairs of Joy-Cons. <laughs> Say it again, Ray. What'd you say? I do it for friends for free. Oh. <laughs> well, dude, that's insane. So, do you actually are you like in the back of the GameStop and they're like fix these controllers? <laughs> they just I throw bring them home and fix them and bring them back. What? That's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's fucking sick. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, actually. So I was seasonal, and I was talking to the other guy at a different GameStop I go to, and he's like, "I'm tired of having people always rebuy controllers." Yeah. And I was like, dude, I can fix them. I've been fixing mine for years. Yeah. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. That's why you've never seen me buy a new one. He's like, <laughs> Do you want to start fixing ours? Well, I'd rather pay you to fix them than have someone buy a whole new one. I was like, dude, yeah. So oh, I started fixing them for him. So what? what is it in the controllers that make them sway? Or like, why are it's, they so uh, easily? <laughs> it's the sensor that gets dirty. It's actually just a clean is all it needs. So there's something in the bottom that's sensing where this thing's going, and it gets dirty. Yep. How does it get so dirty so fast, though? Uh, Cheetos. Maintenance. <laughs> Cheetos, like you said. It depends on what you have on your fingers. Yeah, um, good. Just Pubes. your skin cells, your hair follicles can get in there Come and cause on. a disturbance. Come on, John. Have you? Well, I'm sorry. I, I don't eat Cheetos in the fuck. I, if I eat, if I touch anything, I, I, I hate greasy-ass controllers. That's one of my oh, pet peeves. Same here, man. Same here. I, I you, hate grease. Yeah. You just spilled like your vodka Red Bull all over the place when you first poured it. That's you're just it's probably all sticky from Red Bull. Let, I didn't spill it on the Joy Con. No, I'm saying that that's you there's a few nights that you don't remember <laughs> closing out a stream, you know that. Oh <laughs> dokey, mister. Don't spill uh, rum on your controller. It's the worst. So what about things like I've heard so you know the new the Steam deck? I heard that that is already having problems with its controllers, or what is it called? Drift. How, so how would... I've never seen one of those. Actually. How do those get fixed? Are they just fucked? I honestly, I don't know. I've never had one brought into me. Fucking camera. Oh, man. Uh, Kelly, all I heard was I don't eat Cheetos and fuck. Yeah, that's, well, that's all you needed to hear. That's about the gist of it. <laughs> all right, so, uh, Madball, Mad Bale. How do you pronounce it right now? It's actually Madball. You've been saying it properly. Jeff was like, oh. it's not it's actually, no, I think spelling. Jeff said it right. I, everyone's <laughs> been actually connecting it to the Diablo character. Uh, there is a demon dictionary I own, but Bell is actually a demonic. It's spelled B A L E. Oh, okay. It's like Christian Bell. Bell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Christian Bell. Gotcha. Uh, but it's ball. Cool. All right. Because two A's make an aw sound, so ball. Oh, okay. Mad ball. Mad ball. Yeah. Um, so you have been streaming for a minute now because 
I actually followed you a long time ago. Yeah. Um, I've actually been streaming since 2019. First was on Twitch. So, right. so what happened with that? Because you started, did you take a break or did you yeah. move to Twitch? Or? I took a break for a while. Uh, I wasn't mentally ready to start streaming at that age. I was just freshly 21. I had just lost my grandpa when I actually started streaming. Oh, yeah. And I actually checked myself into rehab. So it is, it is a mentally tough thing to stream. Uh, a lot of people don't know. I was struggling with uh, drugs and alcohol at that time. Yeah, those are things that also will not make that better. I mean, I like to drink on streams, but if the drugs and then the both things, yeah, that's not good. I'm glad you yeah. I'm glad you got the help for it. So you came back and then you decided to give streaming a, a go again? Yeah, back in 2020 when I started it around the time the pandemic happened. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so I saw you come back and then uh, all of a sudden we had, we were doing our last month's charity. How, how did you find out about GGS? Or like, well, how did you, how, what uh, made you pop over and then just boom? So I've actually known you, like you said, for a long time. I used to follow you guys back when you guys first started when it was just you doing it, John. Uh, Around the first time you guys started up GGS. I mean, it was, we always had like a team, but I, I, I did do a lot of streaming. Yeah. Was it like it was when, about the beginning of 2020? Okay. When I first joined the Knights, actually. Mm. Mm. So right at night time, I would have been on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you started following us a while ago, and then you just came in, boom, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, and I just I got away from a lot of people because of mental hand issues. I suffer severe from schizophrenia and anxiety and depression. Uh, and I was just in a really bad spot. I didn't stop streaming. I was letting people control the way I thought. And I finally just said, screw it. And I got rid of those people that were controlling me. Nice. So, and then I'm like, okay, I got to rekindle stuff with people. And then I ran back into you and me and you were sitting there messaging. And then I came into your streams. Hot, hot, came in hot, yeah. big time. Now you're streaming on um, Twitch and Facebook and Facebook. Uh, the streams are, are, very uh i mean you're always talking they're they're positive you're 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 walking us through what you're doing on the streams they're they're very very good streams so what you have to do mentally to switch that around and then be like i'm um, gonna do this so what i did like i said i got rid of people that were controlling the what i played uh when i played it if he wasn't there he we didn't stream and i didn't like that oh okay uh, and I just changed my whole environment around me. I started surrounding myself with more positive people like the GGS team. Let's go. Uh, and just sitting there watching how you guys acted, I started taking like hints on stuff of not hints, like mental notes on how I can yeah. become better Yeah. at what I do. Yeah. So I just went with it, just said, fuck it. I'm going to try something different. That's uh, actually a great characteristic. You know what I mean? To like yeah. know something's wrong about yourself pinpoint it and then to change it and actively keep it going so mad props to you bud uh glad to see you back uh on facebook on twitch uh tell us a little bit about madball gaming what do you what do you stream what what are your kind of plans uh, with it so at this point i'm planning on using facebook as my story gameplay playthrough okay so that's where you'll see me play a lot of story based games yeah uh like john john watched me finish off cyberpunk Oh yeah. Nice. Actually that's in our that's why you're on because that's yeah. part of our uh, our main segment. So yeah. And then over on Twitch, I'm gonna keep it kind of my uh universal stream where I stream different things, but mainly multiplayer games. Okay. So like Rainbow Six and Fortnite and Call of Duty will be over on Twitch. So nice. kinda you're more competitive? Yeah. You're you're competitive, uh okay. Playthroughs See, and stuff, yeah. Mine is kind of I think ours is kind of flip flop. We do our competitive stuff on Facebook and then a lot of our RPG stuff on, on Twitch. Um, but yeah, that, that's cool. I, I like that. I like that plan a lot. So you, you just beat Cyberpunk. What's next for you? Uh, I'm actually going to be starting the Crisis series tonight. Oh, dude. Not yeah. Crisis, Far Cry. Oh, yeah. Oh, Far Cry. Oh, said, oh, wait, Far Cry? Far Cry? Oh, Either way, cool. hell yeah. I'm going to start like, Far Cry 6 tonight. Oh, you are? Yes. And what are you, are you still doing the thing that you had said that mentioned or is? 
it's going to be on both platforms tonight. Well, no, well, I mean the the oh the, the twelve hour stream. Yes. Are you, all right. So I didn't I didn't want to say it without. So you tell tell us tell us what's yeah. up. I will be doing a twelve hour stream tonight. Uh, I do have a doctor's appointment at nine o'clock to help take care of more health issues, not mentally but actual physical health issues. I yeah, suffer yeah, yeah. from asthma. So I'll be ending about end eight thirty, and then I'll come back and I'll start it right back up the minute I get home. Damn. And I'll son. be continuing the Far Cry. Twelve hours is uh, that's the most I've ever done. Make sure you that's get the an longest. <laughs> Trust me. I actually yeah. have uh, pills. Oh, pills. okay. Yeah, I, um, I'm an asthmatic of thirty three years myself. <laughs> yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what's the longest you ever streamed, Jeff? Ooh, I don't know. It's gotta be eight. It's probably eight. Because yeah, yeah. that, that's the the cap. I think I've hit the cap on Facebook before when it went. The like, cap is now twelve. Yeah, when they, back when it was eight. Oh, think, back when. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was eight at first. I remember that. Uh, Dakota, what's the longest? What's do you remember? Two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> big. <World> big. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think my longest actually was maybe my birthday. Uh, I think I, on uh, six six and a half hours. Okay, I did. I did a couple twelve hours. I did the max that Facebook would let you. It's it's a long trek. You gotta pace yourself. You gotta you gotta hydrate. Oh, yeah. You gotta you gotta make sure you have some snacky snacks. You know, if you Chester. are, if you are like drinking a couple alcoholic beverages, like you really really gotta gotta pace yourself, or you could end your stream real quick. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Energy drinks, obviously yeah. not the best for your body, but they do help. Um, I'm just <laughs> slurping on some Red Bulls right now. Um, so, uh, Mr. Madball, are you cool yeah. with talking on, with us on our uh, main segment? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. So this main segment segment is should games deserve second chances i'm gonna run through a couple games here and there's probably a lot more that might come to your mind if there's any in the chat that you're thinking of let us know and let us know about the games that we are talking about uh if you played them um this first one i did not play but i know I, i'll just go through it so we we got uh we no man's sky launched not only was it riddled with bugs but the promise of multiplayer was lied about straight from the main dev's mouth it was shunned, it was spat on, and yet a year, year and a half, two years later, they're um, re-promoting it, remarketing it like it's a new game because I guess they have a new, a new expansion that just dropped, like a big, big boy expansion. Big patch, yeah. Or a patch, so it's getting in a lot of more players. We have Anthem, Riddle with Bugs, horrible uh, uh, game-ending glitches, bricked. Many PS4s almost bricked my PS4. I ran into a bug, wouldn't let me play the last mission. Um, other than the actual combat, this game was it was not up to people's par. I know that a lot of people liked it. I like Anthem. Be I like flying around as Iron Man, okay? Who doesn't like that? You know what I mean? That part is yeah. sick. I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about every other aspect that went along with it. Um... I think this game, they tried, they were trying to push it back. This one might have died. We'll touch it on it uh, after I talk about the other games. Cyberpunk. This is what you just played. Yeah. Um, when it came out, though, a year ago, holy shit. I mean, it was almost unplayable. Crashes, glitches, bricks, graphic issues. Um, now, they make the new gen. Unless for, unless you got it on PC. Like, like we'll talk about that because... Uh, Mr. Jeff, he had a great time. He had a, he had a great time with it because he had he got it on PC. But for console people, it was it was bad. And then you got um, Battlefield 2042, terrible launch, pre-orders. Uh, they didn't they didn't promise what the pre-order said. Uh, so many features were that made Battlefield Battlefield were missing. Uh, and now they're trying for a new like summer re-release. Of hey we're we're battlefield because we got it. And for season they're gonna they're gonna drop their their season that they promised three months ago. So my question is, do game developers and studios not have a responsibility anymore to release full, complete, playable games at launch? Are we as gamers too forgiving? Or is the standard so low that no matter what these guys do, they're gonna make a buck from us? Before we hop so, into it, you forgot huh? you before we hop into it, you actually forgot a huge one. Which one? 
Final Fantasy fourteen online. Oh, that shit was fucking they, terrible they, at first. At first, they they literally they they blew up the realm and then they renamed it Realm Reborn. Realm Reborn. Okay, so that's it's what I'm saying. One. Yeah. So, so with that said, like, and now look how huge it is. I mean, it's almost you could say it's bigger than WoW right now. At this at this point right now, there's probably more people playing that than WoW. Yeah, with the new deal, the so, new expansion just came out too. So Ray, we'll start with you. Uh, do we hold these developers up to a high standard or do we keep pre-ordering bullshit and wait a year for a game to come out? Because I know you just finished Cyberpunk. I watched you play it all the way through. You had a blast with it. I had a blast watching. My experience uh, was terrible. Jeff's experience was good. Dakota, you had glitches and shit too, right? Not really. I had a few glitches be good for PC, but I... Dude, oh, I, you got it for PC? Yeah, you had I, it for PC. I beat okay. the game. I mean, for streaming it was crap. Like the, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't work. Yeah. It's maybe my own PC performance issues, but like the gameplay okay. still was fine when I wasn't streaming it. Okay. All right. So Ray, what what are, what do we do about this situation? Well, you know, are we just gonna keep pre-ordering bullshit or and wait for a year, or do we hold these guys Honestly, to a higher standard? I've actually stopped pre-ordering games, uh, other than the Tiny Tina one, like you guys talked about earlier. Yeah. That's yeah. the only game I have pre-ordered right now, and that's because I hold Borderlands creators to such a high standard because of Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2. The only game Borderlands released that was absolute trash, in my opinion, was the prequel. Yeah. That game was just a shutout. Borderlands 3 was amazing. Yeah. I'm excited to see what they do with the new Tiny Tinas, but that's because I hold such a high standard for them. So, with that said, the game that you're playing, Cyberpunk, look at their last release, Witcher 3. Yeah. Uh, so... People True. had them held high on that. We thought this game was going to be, uh, 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 and then so I mean, there's people that didn't even request to have a refund. PlayStation just issued a refund. One of our own, one of our own members, our yeah, ex members, yeah. Babs. That happened to her. They just gave her a refund for it because they knew it was fucked up on PS4. So yeah. we held them to a high standard. They came out with a game that sucked. Now you had a great time with it. Yeah. But, like I said, I'm, I don't pre-order stuff because of that reason. Because every time I've pre-ordered, the game has been just trash. Like, I can name one right now that came out trash. Which what? was, uh, shoot, Outriders. Completely riddled with bugs. Yeah. Completely riddled. Yep. Just I, as bad as Cyberpunk was. I, I, I actually beat that game. Jeff, you beat that game? Yeah, I mean, I, I, got, I got my beat it. What's up? I bet, yeah, I eventually beat it. Yeah. I beat it with Jeff, I, actually. Yeah. Oh, I, I have not beat it yet. It so, stream, right? mm -hmm. yeah. What did, what did you what did Jeff and Dakota? What did you guys think about Outriders? Uh, it was fun. Um, I felt I don't. It felt like it was gonna be a lot more. Yeah. But once like I kind of got what it was gonna be, and that's all it was gonna be, then I just tried to have as much fun as I could with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Uh. I, I got my 50 hours worth out of it, but yeah. I thought it was going to be like this huge, bigger experience. After, but you just get to the spot, you like beat it, and it's like, okay, it's like literally done. They, but uh, after, oh man, there he goes. Oh, there. So it, 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 you know, it it was it's a. I actually really like Outriders, but the thing is that like you beat the game, and it was just like grinding and grinding and grinding, and like it's not like the fun yeah, was... grinding that like say destiny gives you say uh diablo gives you all these games that like have so much yeah. to offer for the grind factor and they didn't do that and now they have the new patch or whatever that came out like i don't know the new horizon past, yeah new you know with the past couple months and it's like i haven't touched it i want to but i feel like it's kind of like how avengers was it's like all right well here's something kind Overly of new hyped. and you know yeah but, I mean, oh. it's, it was a fun game. And that's I where like that it. whole thing comes in. Like, Square Enix, everyone held to a high standard because of their history with Final Fantasy and everything being such a great company. And then just watching them flop, it's like, that was the last game I actually fully pre-ordered before Tiny Tina's. Yeah. And I was so disappointed in Outriders being a Square Enix game because I'm a huge Square Enix fan. I love yeah, Final I Fantasy. Are. I loved yeah. Kingdom Hearts. But when that flopped, I was like, Square Enix, what did you do? I mean, where, sometimes where a new IP trust? is not the best way to go. Yeah. 
Like, right. it just seemed like they ruined my trust. That's how I feel. With they do ruin our companies. trust. You know, I spent a hundred dollars on Battlefield 2042 edition. So did I. So did I, John. And I'm pissed. with the with, so with the hundred dollars, it came with seven days early access. Can I tell you, out of those early access days, I only got four days yep. early access. The first three, you couldn't log in. Yeah. You weren't unable to log in. Then, once you did log in, let's say I'm leveling up this gun. I got a gun, I'm leveling up, I'm leveling up, I'm shooting stuff. The next game starts, it's all gone. Everything you just did, gone. I was good at this game. We played together, right? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Why was yeah. this game good? Why did they take my money? I deleted it. I felt so bad when I deleted it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean, I was going to do veteran stuff with this. Yeah. I, I was going to have veteran strain. I'd like, rather, I I rather play Battlefield stuff. 4 or Battlefield 1 than, than even re-download that right now. Dude, Battlefield 4 was such dude, a classic. It was so much fun. So much fun. Battlefield 1 still is, is literally... Battlefield 1 is amazing. I still think Battlefield 4 is, like, <laughs> top tier. Oh, yeah. It was. Battlefield 4 is up here, then 1, yeah. and then 5. 5 Ooh, is five down was, with yeah, Battlefield 2042. Yeah. I didn't care for 5. Jeff, let me ask you. What do we do to hold these devs up to a stint? Not pre-order shit? Or do we just accept what it is? Uh, yeah, just don't pre-order. It's, 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 do you pre-order things? Uh, yeah, well, only stuff that I know one way or the other I'm going to enjoy. Okay. So, like, and it's e it's easier What's to the last game it. you pre-ordered? Uh, I guess Shadow Warrior 3. Okay. That okay. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Yeah. But just because I know the first and second one I had so much fun with, I'm like, there's no way they could fuck up the third. And it's not online. So I know that's, like, that's a, a big problem for games with bugs and glitches. Yep. It's yeah. usually a multiplayer of some sort. Except uh, Cyberpunk is like my now uh, uh, like exception of that list. Yeah. Even though PC, my version didn't have a lot. They've already admitted that like they were told not to focus on old gen shit when they were making it. They that, just yeah. wanted to barely just to be able to release it and focus on yeah. new gen and PC. Stupid. That's why it was it was so bad. But Ray, you had a, a game crash counter right for your yeah. for your stream. How, what what did you? End with when you beat the game six crashes six crashes if i had that up <laughs> when i played the game it the, there would be so it would break the counter oh, i mean man. i it must have been one of the most i think i beat it out of pure hatred for the devs i don't know what motivated me to beat it because literally i mean it, it would crash every hour on the hour i i could i could know when it would crash my game would like go like it would do a little glitch and then my guy would like walk different i'm like oh it's about to crash beep, beep, beep. shut the whole i mean not just like the game crash it would shut my ps4 down there was smoke coming yeah. out of his ps4 <laughs> yeah <laughs> and his butthole. It's like you did, yeah. You did, it's like he had to blow in the cartridge. He had to blow inside the whole fucking PS4. Yeah, dude. I... Pop the top yeah. off like yeah. you're getting ready to fix it. Like cool up, air baby, cool up. <laughs> I was so mad at this game, yet I beat it because I, I, it was, it was good. That's why, Ray. When you asked me what did I think about it, what did I say? I said it's awesome, right? Yeah. Because I know that in all that there was an awesome game that got fucked up by them releasing it on the early gens. They should have just released it on PC, did next gen a year later. Like they, right, the next gen update that they just did, yeah. that should have been their primary goal. Yeah. I Absolutely. am in, in this mindset to where if a game fails at launch, I want it to die. Is that mean? No, no, it's <laughs> not. Cause that's how I felt when Battlefield 2042 fucking released. Well, it everybody's playing trash. Cyberpunk now, and I hate it. Because I'm like, you guys <laughs> don't get to deserve, it. you don't deserve to play it, because I had to beat it with stupid shit. You don't know where we went. Uh, what, so, what happened with Anthem? Are they ever bringing that back? What, what, what happened yeah. with that news? So, th they are. It's not called Anthem, though. And it's, it's actually a top-down dungeon-style shooter. It is called Anvil. What? Yes. It is free for early access on Xbox right now. With the Game Pass, 
and it is called Anvil. It is a top-down anthem shooter. You do not get a fly around. It is like Diablo. Hmm. It's the same, like, not devs and stuff? Uh, I don't know if it's the same devs. Oh, they're just trying to, like, do their yeah, own I think anthem it's just, thing? Oh, yeah. so it's an it's a, it's a ARPG. Yeah. So, but like what does that mean? That, uh, aerial uh, role playing game. So like Ariola. Ariola. Hey, hey. No, it's a uh, yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. So it's a it's an aerial overhead. Top down. Top down. Yeah. Like Diablo. That. So, that, can, so you can I fly as as nope. as Iron Man? Nope. Then it's not Anthem. You could play it on uh you can play it on a uh, Steam as well. It's literally if they would have just taken that part of the game and made it its own game, oh no gosh. story at all. Just fly around as Iron Man and shoot oh, shit. Yeah, I would have still beautiful. bought it. That's actually really funny because it's 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 the same creatures and everything and same visually looking the same, but overhead and you can't fly around. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer oh. actually. <laughs> I, I was pissed because I tried it out. I did the That's whole hilarious. cloud experience to it. Yeah. And I was like this is Anthem, but top down, no flight. And you get a teleport. Instead of flying, they make it where you go through a teleportation pod mm -hmm. and you teleport up to the next level. I'm like, the fuck? This is actually kind of funny. Yeah, I'm actually looking at it on Steam right now. Uh, I, I think I heard you guys mention while well, my camera fucked up. I, I One that should have been on here was Avengers, right? You guys mentioned yeah. Avengers? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, we had fun with that too, Jeff. You remember us having fun with that? Jeff, oh, yeah. like, I, no. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got the platinum out of spite. Jeff for that, platinum. So he might have been like the second person in the world to platinum. He, he sent me a picture. He's like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like 60, 70, 80 hours in. Uh, I'm noticing that there hasn't been a platinum. Like, you know how it says like 1% have done this trophy. It yeah. was like zero, 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 one or something no like that. Jeff's like, <laughs> Just like, I might be the first one in the world to platinum this. <laughs> I'm like, you're the only one in the world still playing it. <laughs> yeah. See, there was... I tried that recently, too, and I just couldn't get past the first part. It pissed me off, and I don't know what pissed me off. Was just... it was it glitching and shit, or just, like, yeah, the gameplay? Yeah, it just kept, like, the screen would, like, waterfall down, and oh. then it would boot me out to the main screen, I'm like, what the fuck? What? Weird. Yeah. What was this? Uh, were you playing on Xbox, or? Yeah, on my Xbox Series S, yeah. Yo, yeah. All right, so what's the overall consensus? Dakota, do we hold these devs up? Do we do we make a stand here and, and say, end to all pre-orders unless you know for a fact that it's going to be great? Uh, or do we keep just buying shit at first and then a year later someone else will play it? Well, those are, those are actually two different things because we're still buying the game in general. We're just not pre-ordering it. I'm a sucker for games, man. You know this. That's the reason I'm, I'm the main guy for... for games. That's well, why I'm motherfucking talking about games right now. Well, fuck you. I'm, the, I'm like the main guy who does our, our spotlights. So I'm the I one know. who I, I, I buy just about That's because you're the game. main guy with ADH fucking D. <laughs> but really, like, like, I like to try everything regardless. So, like, I don't... But I don't pre-order everything. I only pre-order the ones like uh, you know, like like Ray said. Like I only pre-order ones that are, like I. What's the know... last one you pre-ordered? Uh, honestly, dude, I. You know what? Actually, last one I pre-ordered because uh, because I thought I was we were gonna play with you a lot was Battlefield. Actually, the last one I, I actually pre-ordered because of the seven the the seven day fucking. You, I think if you look at your total time played, there's thirty five minutes of Battlefield. Play. Actually, it's an hour and ten minutes. Dakota, I was streaming one time. Dakota, he hopped in, yeah. played a couple games. He's like, "Nope, no, I played one game." <laughs> yeah, I played He's one like, game. I, got, I, like, I, no. I can't, I can't. That game, can't you know what? It. What sucks though is that game held up to how my my fucking playing Overwatch is like. If I have one game, it's just shit. I'm not having fun. Like I like I'm just dying a bunch, and it's like the game is just fucking all over the place. Nope, I'm not, I'm over it. I'm over. It. I can't do it. I play games for fun, up. man. Shit. Dude, I, I I like I literally spent so much time with that. I leveled up all the guns. I was I was I suck at sniping. Okay, Overwatch bad sniper. Uh, Call of Duty bad sniper. Uh, whatever game, unless he plays the called... game sniper, where only you have a sniper, he's a bad sniper. That was different. Yeah. With a slow motion bullet goes through their testicles. <laughs> I like that. I like that game a lot. Bad I think sniper. it was free a couple months ago on on PS or like Yo, maybe you a year ago. Talk about bad sniping. I'll have to do another playthrough on it. Cause I still get to beat it. It's Sniper Ghost Warrior Three and oh, the Sniper yeah, Contracts. 
I want to do a whole nother playthrough, but the game is so fucking long. And I like fast paced, and you cannot fast pace that game. If you fast pace, you, you fuck have everything to. Yeah, up. you have to be a sniper. You have to. You think, you think they the fast paced sniping in World War II, yeah. Ray? Huh? <laughs> World War II is fucking video games. God damn it! <laughs> fuck it. Might as well be World War II. I mean, give me teleport. Just... They had the sniping games on the uh, with the pong, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Boop. You're like Boop. looking in the window. <laughs> yes. Thank. Hey. Um, that, all right. The Scaris. Yeah. So <laughs> Dakota doesn't pre-order much. He, he buys them as I they come. Them. He's going to, he, Dakota's going to buy them regardless. Cause that's just what kind of gamer, uh, Jeff, what do you do to make a stand against bad video games? Make a stand against bad. Don't buy them. I guess it's just simply just, the pre-order or don't buy it at all. But Jeff, you, you can, everybody can wait until. But you're telling me come don't out. pay a hundred dollars for Battlefield 2042. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you should have yeah. just. He bought the even, collector's like, collector edition. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. You I get mean, five extra skins. You can't. They use literally for have John's dog tag that he for everybody else. <laughs> yeah, unless you know it's going to be some uh, AAA something awesome, and the pre-order comes with something actually worth it. Seven days early access was worth it to me. Found it. That, it did sound yeah. like it was worth it. It sounded. That was a seller. Yeah. That was so a there, seller. There was uh that one, up. that one was gonna be kinda hard to predict. So yeah. that's uh I guess if you want to hold them accountable, don't pre order any more EA games. Yeah, until they've released a couple that do decent. You know what's awesome though? Never gonna if happen. they released a pre order for Cyberpunk two tomorrow, I would do it. Yeah, no, I would, because I had fun. <laughs> I'm like, they're really going to learn their lesson from the first one, boys. Let's go! January release in 2030. But, John, are you going to download the new one and just see what it looks like on PS5? Like, not, do a, not do a whole playthrough or anything, just... I make a stand, brother. That's I'm not stand. doing it. I redownloaded it so okay, I could play proceed. it with the new... With the new <laughs> <laughs> I redownloaded it so I could oh, play it again with the new patch. I did that. I did that with, uh, well, the new Ghosts of T had the new DLC that came out with the upgrade. So I did that. Oh, I yeah. did it for The Last of Us 2. When I had the PS5 upgrade, I beat the whole fucking thing again because it looked goddamn beautiful. Um, what was the other one? Was it, there was another one that they made 60 FPS. That was like a exclusive PS exclusive. Anyway, this one, Cyberpunk. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to do it. Even if I look. turn it on once and it crashes, this whole place is burnt to the ground. Oh, it's P- it, but it's PS5. It's not the PS4 one. I, it, I, I don't care. I can't I mean, do it. I was still rocking on Xbox Series, bro, and it still crashed six times. Yeah. If I turn this game on and I'm like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Let me walk down here. I'm telling you, this whole everybody in this house dead. This house, this whole fucking community. Okay, I'm going to jail for life after this, all right? So, no, so I, no I, I won't. So, no birthday stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeff, did you, so you download it for PS5? No, I'd have to buy it for PS5. I'm not for buying PC. it again. They had it, they, but uh, on, P, on PC, you can already play it No, it's still, it's still, it's still, they, they, yeah. They had a new patch that upgraded a t- uh, ass ton of stuff. Yeah. Oh. They added like 200 new weapons too. Uh, they, there's it, it changed a bunch of stuff. They changed a bunch of graphics. The way stuff I know interacts. They changed. Arms. They changed uh, <laughs> like everything. They, Just uh, give me the uh, fucking katanas. I'm set. Yeah, that's right. That's 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 right. When Ray uh, started playing it, it was like right when that patch dropped, and they like it was like one that's of the why game, he started game, playing. It's one of the game changer patches. Like they added like. Uh, graph interactions that weren't there before like everyone like they would make fun of it because they're like there's no interaction with water like oh yeah you shoot bullets into water and it didn't do anything there's nothing and to they, happen they finally <laughs> add they added it kind of thing and they've added oh, some okay. other made a bunch of changes so you have just... you played any of it with it yeah it's yeah, does it, it look it, nice it looks yeah, it looks pretty pretty sweet because they added they like added some weather effects that changed and looked like a lot better now oh yeah the fucking like, snow and the rain in that game. Yeah, I haven't. There's I haven't snow got to this, in it now. I haven't got to the yeah. snow yet. Wait, I haven't got to the snow. Damn it! 
Yeah, I got snow uh, near the end of my stream on my last stream. There was snow coming down, and I was like, what the fuck? When I was up in the Hollywood Hills, yeah. I was like, because I, I, I run a lot in games, like, because I don't yeah. like driving, like, because to me, it's an XP grind. If I run, I have a higher chance of running into an enemy 10 feet away mm -hmm. than if I drive by him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just run him over. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I saw. He, <laughs> he, he's like the Forrest Gump of fucking Cyberpunk. He was running. <laughs> I'm running. Right, right? Exactly. Running with my sword and then just slicing through people. Wait, is it rain in the Hollywood? I mean, it's snow in the Hollywood Hills. That's fucking bullshit. That's not real. Can't fucking believe it. It was it's, it's, it's real in Night City, bro. It's in real in Night City. City. But it looked. It's I don't like know. Half an hour that way. It doesn't happen. I might. I might show you sometime, John. Like, if you just watch me. Like, I'll like share my screen or something. Oh, you can see it because, like, the, the, the like in the. Do you remember in like in the very beginning? when you're um, like doing your first missions and like you drive away and they with um, what's his name? Oh, I totally forget your buddy's name. Jackie Wells. Jackie Wells. Oh, you're yeah, driving yeah, with yeah. him to get back into like your hometown and the police close off yeah. the bridge, but it's raining like the whole time. Like the rain looked so much different on the windshield and the, oh, yeah. the on the car. When I looked around, I was like, I don't remember being like that when I first oh, they, played they it. did some things. Yeah. And that's what fucking infuriates me and why I made this main segment, because I didn't even get a goddamn thing of that. I got a piece of shit fucking trash ass game that I spent a hundred <laughs> fucking hours beating. And I'm mad. I'm mad that you enjoyed it, Ray. I'm mad that you like it now, Jeff. And I, and, and I you can be you can, it's just, as mad and confused as you are, as, as how confused I am that you still will not play Witcher 3 that does not have any yep. of those problems uh. and has never had any of those problems. But you still will not play it. Ray, did you pay uh, Witcher 3? I did. I did. Did you beat it? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, I'm see, not feeling I, I'm not into I, I don't know what it was. Oh, no. I that's, 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 two, that's okay. And I couldn't get into it. I no. tried to play number three, and I got through the fucking main, not main story, but up to the first actual quest line and i just was like this ain't for me i don't oh, know why hey we're, we're we're ggs man we we uh respect everybody's opinion on games uh yeah these these Not two give me shit because i haven't it. yeah <laughs> the, these two mind. give me shit all the time because i haven't beat or it's, played witcher oh, it's 3 so good uh but I you know what i have watched the hour, series on netflix and you watched me stream it too i was streaming for before yeah, all, this, all these fucking games came out Yoda and i both have streamed it yeah. probably, like all the way through a couple That's times true. all right so consensus here is don't fucking we're gonna keep doing here. the same thing and nothing's gonna change and let's go because there's games to be played bad or good new or old someone's gonna play them someone's gonna have fun um, I think that's it for us today, folks. Ray, I just want to say thank you not only oh, for absolutely. everything you do for GGS. You're amazing. We love you. Thank you for being our mod. Thank you for just showing up all the time and hanging out. We love you. Uh, appreciate you being on the podcast. Oh, always. always um, always. let's see. Dakota is going live after this with some Valo on Twitch. Yep. Woof, woof. And also... You on Twitch? Ray Ray. Dakota? I'll be on Twitch, yeah. Oh. And Ray Ray will be starting his 12 hour stream. Um, did we drop his uh, his link in the chat? I did for uh, Madball Gaming here on Facebook. Can you do it again? Just it's, one, it's more, one more. It's pinned. Oh, it is pinned? pinned for like an hour. Boom. Yeah, it's. Are you going live on Facebook or Twitch for that? Both. On both? <clears throat> At the same time? At the same time. Nice. Make sure you drop what you your, uh, that, your Twitch. What? What's your Twitch handle? Same thing. Madball. Yep. Madball. Madball all around. Um, Madball all around. Uh, what, 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 uh, how, what do you use for the dual stream? How do you make that happen? Computer for Facebook. PS4 for Twitch. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Stream straight from PS4 to my Twitch. Because I have a camera well, for my Twitch or for my PS4. Because I have a, what is it? The goddamn stupid PSVR shit. Mm. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Um, you guys, make sure you swing by. Show Madball some love. Appreciate you stopping in and, and chatting oh, with always, us. Always. We'll see you around the community and live, of course. Jeff, Dakota, you got anything else? Just thanks for everybody being here. And you, right, man? Thanks for everything, man. You've been helping us out. 
being with us for a while now and helping us cruise by, man. Oh, absolutely. Do anything for you guys. Yeah, no, big thanks to Ray. Staying positive on the streams, even though that's uh, it's probably hard. <laughs> Especially yeah, in John's streams, uh, you know, watching that Forbidden West shit. Oh, yeah, oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Did, were you with Jeff when he beat it? Yeah, I was with Jeff when he beat it. I, I, like when he had to lurk. I, I watched it to a certain point because you know, I mean, like if I see like a new enemy that I haven't fought, you know, whatever. That's not really a spoiler, but like you got to a part in the story, I, I had to like put my, I, I put you on the PC and I like put my PC. Like, down Close the top a little bit. Like, like, you I knew you were streaming down there, but I was like, I don't want spoilers. Um, I can't wait to finish it. Dakota, I know he's getting back into that. Uh, anyway, that's it for GGS episode 90. Awesome. Show Mad Ball some love. Jeff, Dakota, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next Tuesday. Um, we're next, next special guest is going to be Mikey from My Key to Gaming on Twitch. Yee. We're going to have him on. And we're going to chat about some shit maybe next week or the following week after that. But anyway, he'll be the next guest. Until then, GGS out of here.